Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you um, how to dodge and burn in Lightroom, specifically how to take an image like this and um, darken the background. So we're going to be using this image today. Um, we're going to be getting this result. So as you can see, this image was taken um, at the very edge of my garage. <laughs> so as there's a lot of even lighting. You can see all the things in the background. There's a scooter, bikes, um, and all that stuff that's cluttered up back there. So I want to get rid of it and I'm going to show you how I edit this photo from start to finish. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is apply a preset because I like to use presets with most of my editing. So for this one, I'm going to use my perfect preset over here. This is actually a free preset on my site and I will leave a link below so you can download it too. So that just kind of brightens it up a little bit, gives it a hint of matte. Um, just makes it look really nice overall. So I am going to actually, since we're going to be darkening the background, I am going to um, add some shadows to this edit. So I'm just gonna bring my shadows way down. So that's going to really help the look of our dark background. And maybe add in a little bit more blacks and maybe a little bit more whites to make uh, the whites pop. Okay. So we're going to finish this off with our brush. So I'm going to come up here to the adjust adjustment brush and I'm going to click on burn. And I'm just going to go over this whole area pretty lightly until um, it kind of all the distractions in the back just fade out. And I don't want to increase it too much because then you're going to get this um, craziness over here. I kind of want it to like gradiate, so I'm going to, there we go. Um, I still see that in the background, so I'm going to click on new. And this will just apply a new brush over top of the one that we were just doing. Um, that way I don't have... Um, this foreground darkened up like I don't want it to. So I'm going to just go over the parts that I want darkened. I still see some of the wagon back here. And let's click on new one more time just to make sure that we have all of those distractions in the back kind of burned out. And I might even adjust the exposure on this last one just a tiny bit. And there we go. So when you're done, you can click done, but I do want to enhance um, this a little bit more. Since we did uh, increase the shadows a bit, I wanted to go back into his hair and kind of boost his hair up a bit. So I'm gonna click new again, and I'm gonna choose my dodge brush, and I'm just gonna go over his hair a little bit because I don't want his hair to be completely blackened out because the focus is on him. And I can adjust that over here. Maybe click new again. And do that one more time. Now what I also like to do with hair and eyes in a edit like this is to also apply some clarity. So this will, you have your clarity brush up here that comes with Lightroom. Um, it's just gonna make it stand out a little bit more add a little bit more um, sharpness. I can also do that with his eyes and any kind of feature on his face that I really want it to stand out. So that really makes it pop even maybe his little boo-boo on his face. He fell and got a scrape. So that's looking pretty good. Now what we can do to take this one step further is apply a little bit of burning and dodging on his face to make the shadows uh, more apparent. So since this was taken garage lighting, you have that flat lighting. And if you want to make the shadows stand out more to really in, you know, increase the facial features, then what we can do is we can grab our burn brush again. And I'm just adjusting it by the um, roller on my mouse. So I'm just gonna go over like the simple shadows on his face, maybe 
around like contouring kind of like with makeup um just around the very edges of his face and then maybe up here by his head now this is kind of heavy shadows so i'm going to adjust the exposure because i don't want it too much but just a little touch just to give him more um, contouring on the face and then i might click new and just go over that one more time in certain areas maybe by his nose and adjust that again now you could do the same with the the um, the dodge brush and go over you know the places that you want to hide it like, like the cheeks the tip of the nose or the top of the nose and really make his features stand out even more and I might even go over his eyes a little bit to make those pop even more and there you have it so I'm gonna click done and you can see just by you know adding that preset doing a little bit of dodging and burning um, we made this image really less cluttered and the focus is now purely on him so if you found this tutorial useful i would hope that you leave it a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel and i will leave a link below so you can download this uh, preset um, it also comes with a prepping preset that just adds a little bit more saturation and some polishing and also this black and white preset which is just beautiful so um, there we go so uh, make sure you download that you'll also be um, subscribe to my email list when you do that so you'll be getting fresh Lightroom and photography tips in your inbox every week so that's an added little bonus so thanks for tuning in I hope you found this tutorial useful and I'll see you guys next time